Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Space Invaders tutorial series using Blitz Max Part 3. In this tutorial, we are going to create a list. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list and we're going to use this list for uh, initializing and um, basically right here we have player.drawState and player.update state. Eventually we're going to have things like background, sound effects, uh, missiles and everything and we don't really want to you know, kind of run through all of this because it would make our main loop really big. So we're going to use a list and a for loop to run through the list and initialize everything for us. Okay, so the first thing, oh wait, sorry. And as well in this tutorial, we are going to create our enemy. Okay, so shall we get started? Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to Sorry, I'm just kind of laying everything out nice and neat so you guys can find it. We need to create a variable for our list. So we're going to call this entity list. You can call it anything you like. And then we're going to create the list. And then we're going to go into our main loop. Get rid of all that in between CLS and flip. And we're going to create a for loop. And you can use any variable you like. I'm going to use uh, a t. Whoops, sorry entity object because we want to use our object rather than our player since everything extends from it equals each in entity list next leave the for loop and then we just do a dot draw state and a dot update state now remember because we're using super strict it is case sensitive so lowercase u and update state is not the same as uh, with a capital U. Okay, now we need to scroll down here and to our player, add player to list, list add last, entity, oops, entity list, player. Now if we build this, we should see our player if it doesn't error, and we do, and everything is exactly as it was before. The only difference is now that we have a much uh, more simpler approach to join this. So now anytime we initialize anything up here, it'll just automatically go ahead and run it down here and there you go. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a type for our enemy. So I'm just going to call this type t enemy extends t and if you're using this version of uh, the IDE, you go to code and you can see what types you have in case you forget. And we will end the type. Now we don't actually have to do anything for this one. Um, all we need to do is create our enemy. All right. Same as before. Function create t enemy file string x start int y start int. All right. And we'll just create a new variable. Called T, called enemy. Okay. Now what we need to do is enemy dot x equals x start enemy dot y equals y start enemy dot image equals load image file. And then we'll just do another quick check to see if it even exists. If enemy dot image equals null. Print enemy dot png not found. And we'll end just in case. Whew. And whoops. We will add our enemy to our list. So list add last ent oops, sorry. Entity list enemy return enemy and function method 
draw state and method and we'll just create our two functions right here like uh, sorry our, our two methods like we normally do all right and actually as I remembered don't actually need that because we're not doing anything special with our drawing um, but we may use it later so actually I will add that back Ah, I'll just get rid of it for now. No point cluttering anything up. Okay, so before we go on ahead and start adding stuff to our update state, let's see if we can get this to work. So local enemy t enemy equals t enemy dot create, and I've already included it, and it is called enemy dot png. In case you didn't already know, and we will put this at the top. And we'll just run this right through. And as you can see, we have our little enemy ship there. Poor little guy. Just sitting up there. Okay. So now that we've created our enemy, uh, let's go on ahead and work on getting it scrolling uh, down at our player. Uh, later on, we'll create more enemies. But for now, uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, this should work just fine. Okay, so in our update state, Obviously, as we did up here, we will do y plus speed, and this will essentially use our speed variable up here and we'll push our player positive on the y. And now we just need to create a nice, simple little uh, equation like we did up here to basically say that once our player, or sorry, once our enemy has hit a certain point on y to reset it. So if y, let's see, what should we set it to? Um, if y is greater than, let's see, 634, and we'll probably fiddle around with this for a little bit, then y is equal to negative 64 since that is the resolution of the image and we'll just go ahead and build this real quick wow that is moving really really fast all right it looks pretty smooth player the enemy goes down and we are going to override field speed int equals two ah there we go well no let's go for three okay there we go our player is a little bit faster and our ship is slowly going down Okay, so that is our enemy, and if we want to create more, uh, we can just keep adding, just create a new variable, and we can just keep changing the position until we have a whole army of them across the screen. Uh, one more thing we're going to do in this tutorial, uh, since we're, thanks to uh, the types inside of Blitz Max, it's actually pretty quick and easy. We are going to create a background. So... Uh, put this as t background type t background extends t background but sorry <laughs> that is so wrong t entity object all right and type so basically exactly the same as before except there's one difference y scroll and it is a float So exactly as before, function create t background file to hold our image x start to hold the position of it y start to hold the y position and y scroll which is float and we'll just call it the exact same thing or you can call it scrolling speed it really doesn't matter. local background t background equals new t background background dot y equals oops sorry sorry background dot x equals x start background dot y equals y start just getting a little bit ahead of myself there I apologize background dot y scroll equals y scroll background dot image 
equals load image file. So same as before, if background dot image equals null, background dot png not found, now aborting. And this bit, the checking to see if the image, you don't actually need this obviously, um, but it is useful to have uh, when your program gets pretty massive. Uh, you probably won't be very specific about it. You'll probably just have a generic, uh, you could probably, yeah, you just have a generic thing saying whatever. Or you could attach it to the type. <clears throat> so, you know, it displays whatever. Um, let's see. List add last entity list background return background and function. All right, so now we just need to do our update state. This one is quite simple. First thing, as before, we want to scroll it at, on the Y, whatever our uh, Y scroll happens to be, and you can change this, that's the beauty of it. So if Y is greater than 600, then y is equal to negative 599. And that is all we need to do. Now all we need to do is go up here and load and create our backgrounds. We're going to use two backgrounds to scroll and I will show you why first. T background and uh, the background is also included. T background dot create. Oops data background.png we will put it at oops 0 0 and then we will run it and it should work ah sorry we're missing our scroll parameter we'll just set it at 1.0 and now as you can see the background is a little bit dark I may modify it uh, before I upload but as you can see it's scrolling down and that's really not very useful to us but we can create a new background equals t background dot create same thing as before and you can create a variable to put it here if you would like now if any of you are uh, any well if you guys have some uh, basic any form of basic math which I obviously do I'm not insulting anyone's intelligence here but if we set it to zero obviously they're just gonna overlay on top of each other and that's not gonna do anything so what we need to do is we need to set it to negative 600 and then 1.0 and then we will run this again now as you can see the background now is completely and utterly smooth and is scrolling perfectly now that's all we need. So now we have a nice lovely background. It looks way more interactive than before. Uh, it's much better with the background. It makes it feel more real. So that concludes this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can go on the Blitzmax forums for help or you can send me a message on my forums or whatever as well. Uh, please follow me on Twitter and Facebook. You can keep up to date with when new tutorials are coming out. And generally, you get them a lot quicker than the subscriber feeds, or you already know what's coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And the next tutorial, we are going to set up our enemies a bit better and set up our missile system, or lasers. I think we'll go with lasers. Yeah, let's go with lasers. All right. Thank you.